<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, welcome back to Stars to be because I don't know if the store has power yet. So yeah, it, it's it's a great Thursday all around. It's a great Thursday. I did get vaccinated, my first uh my first vaccination yesterday. Um so my arm is also extremely fucking sore, so that's nice. <laughs> Alright, so we need the Avery Dome, the Avery Hatchery, and the Expedition Center. So we're gonna unlock the expedition center. We're gonna do the expedition center now. Um, for obvious reasons, uh, it, it should be the first thing you put into any of these, I would say. Um, especially if it's telling you it's a re requirement, like this one is. Alright, we'll just do that, and then we'll connect that up like so. Now, the problem is, we need the research center to actually get this stuff. It doesn't tell you that, which I feel like it should. And they don't have the research center anywhere in here, which is really weird. Or is it, is it the science center? Is that what I need to go to? Yeah. Why does it say research center? That was weird. Structures. We need to research the Avery. Have you and you do that. Unfortunately, we can't do any of that yet. So can I train? I can train them, can I? How do I train my scientists? Aha. Okay. So we're gonna first things first. We're gonna let this dude rest, and then we're gonna train this one. Oh, I need I need research for it. Okay. So we'll we'll do that after uh, we're done with the Avery stuff. Um, we might as well continue the path out a little bit. Let's go down this way, and then we'll go up a little bit. Um, I don't really know anything about the whole Avery stuff, because um, when I played Jurassic World Evolution 1... We're going we're gonna to go through and get some trees out of the way. When I played Jurassic World Evolution 1, this was, only, this was locked by DLC that I never got. Or I may have gotten it, but it was very late into the game, so I wasn't playing it anymore, really. Um, like, sometime last year, I think, I, is, if I got it, it was probably around that time. Um, Jesus Christ, this one has a far fucking reach. Alright, let's do what, I, what I'm what i gonna... I'm just gonna do this, make it look not pretty, um, by just getting rid of all of the trees and such around the area. This way I can kind of get an idea of how big my area actually is. Um... Again, you don't need to do this. I just do it because it helps me to figure out how much area I actually have to work with. Um, I feel like... Like, I understand the reason why they don't just have all the trees gone in your area the minute you get here. But, like, I feel like if you're really about to be doing this sort of work, you're not going to have anything in your way that's going to get... You know, you're not going to have any trees or rocks or anything like that. They're just going to casually get in your fucking way when you go to start this stuff. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like... In real life, if you're about to go on to this sort of expedition, like you're about to be building all this shit, you would 100% get any large rocks out of your way, you'd get rid of any trees that are going to be in your way, because you have to build very big structures in this game. It's not like they're just casually fucking, you know what I mean, in real life. But it, I feel like that's something they should do. They should... Oh shit, I'm negative money. That costs money? What? What? It costs me money to get rid of trees? Are you fucking kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> okay, we have to load. <laughs> um. <sighs> it costs me money to get rid of trees. Why? Like, I understand that in real life, obviously, it's going to cost you time and money to do that. But, like, why? <laughs> Apparently, the game likes to be willy-nilly with its... <sighs> okay, so it's literally back to right where we started. So, that's good. That's fine by me. Um, it does suck, because it does mean I actually have to do a little bit more. Um, I have to restart all this stuff, which isn't that big of a deal. At the end of the day, I, I'll deal with it. It's not that... It's not like it's going to kill me. Okay. 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to research scientist training. We're not even going to, like, we're not even going to waste my time with, with the Avery. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. We're just going to immediately go for this and get it done and go from there. We need, we need that train. We need that so I can train other scientists. So I don't have to rely on the one dude so often. And then we're going to rest this dude. We're not even going to fuck with the trees. I'm not even going to fuck with the trees this time. I'm just going to leave them. I'll, I'll deal with it later. There we go. Get my road back up to where I wanted it. I think my one scientist will be done, will be done resting before the fucking research, or the research will be done before he's even done resting, which is kind of good because it means I can start training the other person the minute that dude, or the minute it's done. I need to. Uh, there we go. I was like, what do I need to do again? Like, oh yeah, I need to fucking put some power up. All right, let's do that so we can. Uh, Get our power a little bit further. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the science center again. We're gonna go and now start researching the Avery. I'm assuming that gets you both then, right? Like I would assume that gets me both of those unlocked. All right, now we're gonna train her. There we go. Um. Let's train her in logistics. And I need to do more research. Are you shitting me? So you need to research. Oh my god. You need to research again to get another training point unlocked? That That is fucking annoying. But it means we can we can train everybody, which is good. Um we should be able to have everybody get trained one higher then, which is nice at least. Okay, he's just about done resting, and we'll train him after he's done. <laughs> Again, my, my goal here is to train these guys and girls, so that way I... Gives e what? What do you mean, gives each scientist two training points? Does he not even have a fucking training point to use? Oh my god, are you shitting me? He must have already... I'm very confused as to why I can't train him. That's fairly annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's that done. We're going to go in and do another set of research real quick. Um, Go for the efficiency upgrades real quick. Just to be safe. Um, So that gives me two now, which is good. Oh, fuck. Never mind. We're not going to do that. We're going to rest him up first. Which does, which will kind of bite me in the ass, but at the end of the day, I'd rather rest him up and not have him get pissed, pissed off while I build. Alright, so I want to do kind of like this sort of shape. Nope, 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 I want to go that way. There we go. I have to get rid of the rock. Are you fucking kidding me? Rock. Okay, demolish those rocks. Demolish that rock. Because they're probably going to get in my way. Okay, we're almost done. Does it look perfect? No, but I need to get rid of the path a little bit. The path's kind of... now the path is getting in my way. All right, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna finish putting this together first before we do anything. Thank you, game, for finally letting me go back. Jesus.
I need to get rid of the path one more time. I want to have a big ass Avery dome if you guys couldn't tell. All right, I think that's good. It's not even, but I didn't really want it to be even in the first place. I want it to connect there. It's kind of why I put that where I put it. I did not want there to be a diagonal road, but we're gonna have to deal with it. We're ready on this end. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not-so-friendly skies. Let's get an Avery viewing gallery in. There. God fucking damn it, dude. Every time. Why? Why, why couldn't you just wait, game? There we go. She can go by herself, which is perfect. We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes. In a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other side. There we go. Oh my god! This thing always pops this shit up at like the most annoying time. One, two, three, four, five. Asset has been delivered. Here we go. Get a response facility in. Team, we need to add task. I'm just gonna assign them to there. How does it have? food it needs water rock and fit okay so that's i was like it's gotta not there's no way it has enough food right now okay so let's it's weird i'm like trying to get a good view from this but not really able to as much as i would like let's just get some water in like that we'll have a little bit that goes outside of this as as per usual i do like my water to uh to kind of connect outside of the the thing so it looks a little bit more like there was a little bit like there was water there beforehand it's not stuff i've added in all right let's grab some fish feeders let's throw in some large rocks and we'll, we'll we'll get a nice nice mix of rocks in here what else do you need besides being lonely fish Shouldn't you have fish now? Because you have feeders. <laughs> plenty of open space. Plenty of rock and water. Population needs to go up, but that should be solved soon. They look fucking immaculate in this game, though. Yeah, like, shouldn't that be enough? Or is there, like, a way to actually get legit fish in there? What the hell? Yeah. That's what I thought. That should be how you do it. There we go. We'll add in a few more, just to just to be safe. We'll make sure, just to make sure that it's territory uh, that it falls within the territory. Which it does now. I think the other ones are just slightly. Yeah, the other ones are just slightly out of the territory, so it wasn't um, really dealing with that too much. I'm still awaiting delivery. This is taking forever. Christ, man! I'm like, why is this taking so long? So yeah, their comfort is now all at 100%. That's good. 
or very close to 100% at least. These look awesome. I gotta admit, the Avery Domes look fucking amazing in this game. We're gonna throw in an... an... What? How did I even click that? Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say throw in an emergency shelter. Words, but given the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm gonna go with, uh, quote, predictable, unquote, last words instead. Dr. Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens. It's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes, yes, we do what we can, and sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard. Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. Claire, shut your face. Okay. Hey, I'm Isaac Clinton. <sighs> no. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. No. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. Can I actually put this? Oh, I can't even put this in here. Okay, that's interesting. So you can't even put it in there. Wow. I have three of these. How the fuck are they not visible still? There's literally three of these in here and they're still not visible. What? I don't understand how that... Visible Dinosaurs 3, Visible Dinosaurs 1, Visible Dinosaurs 3. How the fuck am I only getting... Oh my god, this is... Very fucking frustrating for me, you guys. I have to keep making these because they're not fucking being seen. Maybe I should have made this a little bit smaller. <laughs> nah. I'm very happy that I made this as large as I did, because I think it's just... It's such a dumb, dumb level of big that I love this. That I love this about about this. Like, did it need to be as large as it is? Fuck no. Did I want to make it large, though? Hell yeah. Don't tell me I'm about that. to add another one. I will fucking scream game. One. There we go, finally. Apparently they're all visible enough now. I'm assuming w out of the five, one was not being seen. And that was the issue. Because like you see, there's four there, there's... Two there, there's... Four there, and there's one here. So my assumption is like most of them were being seen by these three that I already had, but one of them wasn't being seen. Hey, Claire, I've been thinking. When you think oh, it God. makes me nervous. <laughs> no, seriously. Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger and he's concerned. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. They are, because That's I'm a badass. That's reliable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. I mean, he's got a point. 
Hi, sweetie. Seven. Oh, my fucking thing's not sped up. That's why it's taking so long for shit to be done. Yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh, it's it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. I want to get the dimorphodons. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now, we're putting right, up So we're going to send you two to go this, do that one. This is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals, and safety for the DFW staff, of course. Shut your hole. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where's that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance, humanity versus the dinosaurs, and honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. Damn, Malcolm, that's that's cold, bro. I hate how I have to redo all this research every time. Like, if you guys don't remember, back in the first game, every research node you did stayed going forward. Like, every time you went to a new part of, like, a new island, it stayed. Because you were still technically working with the same crew and everything like that. It just keeps bouncing all over the place. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers. Shut up, Cabot. I fucking know. Flap, not flop. Huh? 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 Cabot Finch, guys. The most annoying character in this game. I will fucking die on that sword. Cabot Finch is the most annoying character in this fucking game. You guys may say, oh, well, Isaac's pretty annoying. Or Dua's annoying. Or Lambert's annoying. Yes, I agree. They're all fucking annoying. <laughs> Why did it give me a random ass? Okay, give me a random ass water dino. I'm I'm not upset about that. I can't wait to play. By the way, I cannot wait to play more of the the dinos and stuff like that when we do some of the other some of the other modes in this game, which will be happening the minute we finish this this uh, story mode. The campaign will be finished, and we'll be doing some more uh, dino work on other modes inside of this game. Uh, which I hope you guys are looking forward to. There's not much else we can really do. I think the campaign really only goes so far, um, unfortunately. Like, last time, the campaign, you got to do a lot after you finished it. Like, there was a lot you could do. In this one, it seems like you go to each area, you finish each area, and then that's it. You don't get to go back. It doesn't seem like I can go back through any of the other areas, which, I gotta admit, upsets me a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it does. I do want to try to 100% this game, though. Um, so, we, I do want to try to get everything done at some point. Um, which would be very, very fun. Just get to kind of enjoy every version of this game and stuff like that. Um, as much as this game can offer to me. Because there's a lot. This game has a lot you can get in it. And that's what I really like about it. Although, I think... It, while it has more... While it has more of what, you know, than, than what the first game had, I think it doesn't have nearly as much going on for the story as what the first game had. Like, the story just kind of seems thrown together more as they wanted to add more stuff in and kind of upgrade the... upgrade the, uh... the dino amount and all that stuff and upgrade the game a little bit. We're just gonna... We're just gonna mark the rest of these as red. Okay, there we go. Doesn't seem like they, they really looked at it as much as they did with the last game and just kind of wanted to throw a second campaign together. Six Dimorphodon found. Fuck yeah. Aww. We only got five of them, though? That's, that's lame. One, two, three, four, five. If you've played Ark, you know these as the fucking most annoying tiny dinosaurs in the world. They're assholes. Ass holes, my man. Uh, yeah, let's go pick up the four other. I don't know if I want to pick up four Tyrannodons right now. 
I kind of want to do more research. It, 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 it's like, it's one of those things where I want to do research so we can try to get more stuff unlocked for this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Go with you and you. Start task. Alright, there we go. Delivery complete. Do not know how these Dimorphodons are going to enjoy it in this area. It's clearly lonely right now. It wants sand. But that's it. So that's not too much. That's not that hard to, to get done. So we can just go down. Throw in sand. There we go. Kind of wash over some of this ground. With sand. Alright, there we go. That add enough. It did. Surprisingly, that added enough in for him. Sweet. Doesn't seem like they're having issues with the uh, Pteranodons, which is nice too. Um, that was kind of what my biggest concern was, that they were going to have issues being in there together. Um, you see that a lot with these games where the two dinos you try to throw in together just have continuous issues. <laughs> Alright. Um, do we need to do another one? Or are we good? I think that might... Do we have all the fucking uh, Demorphodons in here already? Oh shit, we do. Are the Toronodons... What's the population? Okay, they're, they could add more... Po I can add more population for them. Also, I know how there's just like a patch of sand. It looks kind of annoying. I was going to change more, but I said fuck it. I'm just going to leave it. I like the fact that it's not completely full of sand. You know, that it's just kind of this small patch where they're just like, Oh, we need sand for these guys? Here you go. Can I upgrade? Hold up. Can I upgrade the other chick that I have? Can I upgrade? Um, I can. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll upgrade logistics. I think that should give me the ability to uh, to get the other research training one done. Are you fucking kidding? I still can't. Ah, it sucks. I'm gonna have to fucking fire somebody if I really want to to do this. Ooh, that's gonna suck. I don't really want to have to fire somebody. But, we may just have to. We're gonna go get, uh, the four, these four Pteranodons with these guys. What's their population? Okay, they have a high population limit, too. Okay, that's good. Damn, that was quick. Okay, four captured out of four found. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, we can't do any more of those. We need to... Unfortunately, it looks like we need to actually... Um, Asset transportation complete. We're gonna upgrade what we can, I guess. There's not really anything that's hurt it. Science Center, can't do anything there. Control Center. Ooh, we can actually do some Control Center ones. Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? Alright, there we go. It was a nice little... Yeah, can't do anything in there. So that was a nice little uh, boost of stuff real quick. Hey, we completed Oregon! Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms... But what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree 
that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. Ooh, Yosemite. To my point, chaos. Don't you just love it? California! Oh, man. This one's gonna be fun. Yosemite is awesome. That's an awesome place. Granted, we're gonna have to try saving from a volcano at some point, so that's unfortunate. But hey, you know, it's just how it be sometimes. Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. And this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. So we need a paleo medical facility, an expedition center, and a response facility. There is quite literally okay. nothing horse fucking here for me. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture. And okay, we also clearly need, need... Uh, but not actual barns. Barns, no. Expedition center, a paleo medical facility, and a response facility. Yes. <laughs> The host should give us a solid foundation. Look, I'm just gonna build everything that's in operations and go from there, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go from here out like so. And yes, I know that that kind of diagonaled a little bit at the end. Didn't really mean for that to happen, but whatever. Alright. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Then we just need power. There we go. Let's throw two in. And that's that. Pretty much immediately done. <laughs> How are you at photography? Uh, in what aspect? I think my right side is a little better than my left. Oh, and I'm talking about the dinosaurs. We're gonna want images of the species in Yosemite. Oh, and you're wrong about the right. Okay, I get it now. We can take one of the vehicles and go on a photo expedition. And, yeah, I know. My left is better. You're still here? I'm leaving, but I haven't left. You get it? I'm doing a play out. Go! Oh. Gone, gone. I'm gone. Jesus. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I will see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.